Ah, ja, geht es nicht auf Schabes, weil äh, Teile der Weile in, in der Sonne, in Nieden, in Geil, noch kein so Pepe. Ähm, so. Schon lange nicht gemacht, ein Video auf Schabes, so. Covid Schabes, äh, wir waren auch im Alo, da von einem Schiebet hin. Und auch jetzt, wenn Driving zieht viel an, so. Ich habe mich ganz klar beschreiben, ich habe es noch etwas beschreiben, ich habe es beschreiben, aber es ist besser, dann gehen wir wieder. So. I was looking in the third show, which is the eye, and I didn't find anything to talk about for now. And the whole concept of looking in the parsha and finding something to talk about is a bit long. But if I want to give a Koteris from the parsha, and then we have to be, we do not from the parsha, see that I'm not going to read and bring you a clue, a hair, a hint. But the part where it says, Kiarche, Vashem, Lekech, Vashem, Lekech, תאבי נפש הולך על בוסה, אז כל אבי נפש חוטף על בוסה וחילי, וגאי מהם. ואני רוצה לחשוב על דברים בכל קונטקסט, על חיים ודברים. אז יש שם שבת של ארכם אל, לכותרת, איך זה כותרת? הדר, כתיטל של אל, זה שבע. Shiva is the concept in my interpretation of Kiyarchi Vashem Lekech Vos Gevilcho. This mind is an underreverted. Shiva sounds like a reversal. I think that it shouldn't be counted as reversal. It should be counted as growth or change. And the more accurate. I'll answer to Machach Katsen. I'll answer to the Yudha Yudha Matsiriga and to the Mishri Vitam Plesbio and the Mishri Vitam Vreyu. And whenever we keep the Aloy Mishri Vitam Mishri Vitam. But the concept is, even if Mach Shiva for us, we are yearly occurring, the idiot of Mach Shiva, it's not about reversal, it's not about charut uh, of a given zakhan, of a given attitude, of a given zakhan. It's more about um, continuance and uh, growth. Other, uh, um, what was the other word I said? What I think is, the Gemur is about Shaykh, not about Shiva, but it's the issue, but it's the... Uh, what it means to say is that Shiva is not stopping what you did, it's doing exactly what you did in an adult way, in a way of much uh, regardless. And Anders is Shiva, Anders is the Eigelov, now I have So what I was thinking about a few things in this context of how how we march of our Gvir, that's the simply the food seekers. You know, I'm just mentioning the Gvir and the Gvir that is the Sprite in it from Yidin and not everyone is next to the Baisa Migdash, which is obviously, I mean, must be a metaphor for people that, not the Baisa Migdash is just a place, but people live further in our lives, the reality of where we live as we grow older every year or every geography and I mean, becomes further from So there's several, uh, and the Pusik doesn't say, oh, it's a shack life, it's a bucket, it's called a chovis gevel, this is called ik word bereid en zet van de laatste stok in de gevielers. Let's say we wacht, we wacht dat ik weer een ganse paar van de gevielers zet. Dit is wel, dit is waar het, dit is waar het maar. En in dit paar is het kind of upset. En dan ga je nooit de beste mee dus. Maar dan de speciale rode de hele paar. Dan, dan is maar gedrukt. Dan moet je het waard vinden. Dus je moet niet, niet meer waard vinden. Dus je moet niet meer het verspreiden. Which to us in a different perspective. Het feit is dat we hebben dat we waard hebben. Als het hebben zet en vlees. Maar in de richtige perspectief is maar dat het daar zo is gevuld. That thing that we come got a heading in my Facebook that I took it down and I knew all this last of it that I had is all this guy came to Smith. That I went to get there, I guess, and that's mine and that's get left guy to get there back from it. Okay, they slept the vat, make them push the grill. They shouldn't have been able to get there, they can't match it on the grill. And match it on the grill might not match it on the stupid match it hates on the grill. Wherever you go, you push along the grill, grill like this with you. So, and what you do is, basically, Kiva and this whole concept is what, when you people grow up, and nobody changes. This is, Kili Mankasha, I'm not Kiva, Kanoch Zerav Naid has changed. But people keep on doing the same thing, or what we hope is that, uh, that we will start doing the same thing with, uh, with more, um, With more godless, with more maturity, is what I would call it. Um, people um, 
people need a change. And um, let's talk about the way I'm going Facebook. They are more like the other. Link is that they can make often and spare hands eight men as they have a mic off and they have a bad. They have a guitar, they have a guitar. And I'm thinking, when the vote is stuck in the guitar, what kind of the stuff they go to them as we live in the other class? But uh, what we should do, or what I think to do is, in some sense, everything is building. If I mention uh, look dates to the try to laugh, every day is a different theory, a different uh, thought. And it's very living a very disjointed life. So there is one. We are saying the same thing the whole time, but it's these two with the get cut, the bed made mature, the bed made uh, it's the same thing, but it's Rainer's and Fashidin and Stissem, and Rainer's and Fashidin and Levish and what they do, and Rainer's and Fashidin and Quillem, this is the way that's what it's will. So, what I'll, I'll give another example of when I'm with the kid, the book of Will Marshall and the Quill, they use this graphic, is I'll give it the Quill, but then I'm going to say that some people like Shulem. Is um, is uh, looking for the truth, or looking for the honesty, or looking for the objectivity, looking for the for the real thing. And what I find is that truth, or value, or meaning, or um, creativity—all the good things that we always talk about—don't um, exist in a vacuum. They don't exist. As an object, as an objective thing, and I'm as if say objectively is living the mass at the end of the gadich vas, the gadich vas fat the chicken on came the vas, the vas fan of the vas. As I'm saying, it's not the lie. When you when you search for the thing in the object as that is, you find nothing because Allah was more, Allah was deeper in the world, beauty, rachne, uh, metaphysics. Metaphysics is really the study of relationships, not the study of objects. I mean to say, when we talk about like one of the biggest theories in metaphysics, talking about clues, I'm talking about uh, universal, talking about uh, forms, talking about trying, to, and then there's a whole argument: do forms exist, or universals exist, do universals not exist, which is in different letters and different places. It's the same argument that the whole world has: does God exist? Does God not exist? But God and all these words are not meant to describe an object. They're not like an object called God, like a there's a thing of materialism is focusing on the object. But there's a relation, there's relations between things. There's, when you say something is beautiful, I'm not uh, giving a description. It's not an attribute of the object. It's an attribute, it's a relationship between the object and, and me, as the person that says, that sees that as beautiful. And when you say, uh, oh, that's relativism, beauty is by the older, it's relativism, but we should reclaim the word relativism and call it relationalism. Beauty is in the eyes of the old, beauty is a real thing, it's a real relationship between me and the beautiful thing. So I see a beautiful thing. And I look at it and I'm having a kind of relationship with it by saying it's beautiful. That's how people people get connected to beautiful things. People get connected to deeper things because the deepness or the whatever we want to call that's below the surface or deeper than the surface is a relationship. It doesn't exist in the thing. It's not that I can buy the thing and put it in my in my cellar and basement and I'll open the beauty nine. Beauty is you go and you look at it and you're having a relationship with that thing. That's what beauty is. That's the difference between a beautiful object and an ugly object is when you don't want to have a relationship with beauty and ugly is a metaphor for every other good and bad and and uh, uh, all kinds of other words that we have to all kinds of other dichotomies. They're always about what do I want to be have a relationship with or when I have a relationship with something versus when I don't have a relationship with something. Um, which is the tumma or ugly or evil or kinds of things. So So now everything we do when we're discussing or we're trying to grasp beauty or trying to grasp anything is that we use when we're younger we think we're gonna grasp the object, we're gonna we have this concept of let's convince uh, people that they're that the of the truth, let's convince them that we're right. Let's uh, let's show the truth to the world, let's uh, push the truth and the attitude or the levish that that comes with, or the pose, like the posture that it's in, is, is provocation. Like Sakwari said, he tries to be a trial, tries to be a fly, to someone kicks, do do out this. But I find that to be a very misunderstanding given. It's a very, whenever I uh, used to be very um, trying to win arguments, trying to prove things, trying to, because it's not about winning the arguments, but finding the truth. But when you, real, when you start to realize that there's always a relationship going on there, Truth is also just a relationship between me and a thing. I think that you have a very dearly or very, very strongly. It's truth. It's truth. 
and truth that the truth as it is, as the Sabtar Mina Bakir and Zubi is colored to Lilma, it doesn't interest to anyone. That's all kind of Dajjal Pah. That's all kind of Shiva of all these things that we're talking about. That we should have a relationship with things. So that's the of Brucha and verse Lulu Brucha is I love you. I want to have a I want to have a relationship. There's a relationship between me and all the good things. And that also has around the concept of Brucha, but I don't have the exact words that to explain it. And two the things that I'm pushing away from me, that's called Tim, that's called the uh, Tidrach, literally, the other side, go away. Um, so what was I saying? Now, when you, whenever you have some truth, some truth to show, something to put on, the flag it up to them, and when your motivation is, let's prove someone the truth, let's, uh, I find that it never works, because it's focusing on the object of the truth, on the object of, then you get stuck with people's relationships, uh, this guy, he thinks that you're a right thing game, and all kinds of things. But uh, when you focus on the relationship and the, on the what you're actually doing, then you can have the same truth in many different elevation. And that's not an angel. And this is who do the is not an the shaker. You can do have the same the same level of depth and the same level of the same level of uh, creativity, the same level of uh, spirituality. Is can can look very it can look very benign it can look very uh, banal it doesn't have to be uh, just like there's banality of evil there's banality of good which means that the good the good relationship being a Nazi or whatever is not even an object evil it's an evil relationship when you want to kill me and then I'm going to kill you back but it's not something it's like like an object called Nazism and the same thing with good there's not an object called being good. There's an object called the moral, the moral theory. That's why we took some moral theory of Michigan. It's about the relationship in me in a certain situation. I'm going to uh, how it's going to be like a philosophy of the relationship of a good relationship, of a blessed relationship. But that's what we call uh, moral. That's what we call myth. So that's what's called um, all these words. They're all about relationship. They're all about the relationship between me and the and the other thing, the yeah, has to me and the other thing. It's not about it's like a concept in itself. And this is one of the things where we keep on growing and we keep on we keep on being seeing ourselves in different situations, in different uh and different uh and sometimes the one in between and the third is start to rule the guy that gets us that you don't have to that's the matter of Ms. because Ms. is just a picture, it's just a certain stockness, but that kind of shame that I think and if you think about all these points that I made, you can figure out a full theory of all of those lashes and how to see this dialectic, uh, the dialectic uh, working in them, basically as nisht. Nisht is the way but there's a certain place, and that certain place doesn't mean that certain place. It means nisht in that certain place, and not to be stuck in the Messiah. And if you want to eat a piece of meat, then just shecht it, and so you don't respect the life. Respect the thing you're shaking, don't uh, eat the blood, whatever that represents, kind of not respecting the life of the animal that you killed, and eat it like a man. This year, it has an object of the Nishlana, and she is a Hazan of the Zura and object. Anyway, that's the easy ideas for today, and I'm going to finish with that. And you guys live in Agita Shabbos, and. Ad Jabez, Ayunayuk, Yazayz Khalans.